How are these evacuations on the ground organized? Okay, on the 24th of February, when we got this news out, uh, we started working uh, immediately with our volunteers across different parts of the Europe. Uh, and then we started first activating the, what we found is that first two days, there is a misinformation and as well as chaos or kind of a panic, which was been happening. So we immediately set up a helpline, which is a 24 by seven helpline, which was done by our 350 volunteers across different parts of Europe where we are working. At the same time, we have around 100 volunteers on the ground in Ukraine, those who are our volunteers. They set up the various helplines, support arrangements for the food shelter, and at the same time, arrangements for the correct information and giving the right information at the right time. And third part is our, most of the students who came to Ukraine uh, they might have came maybe in the last year or maybe few months back. So they don't know how to travel to the from train station to the border and from different parts. So we created a support system and our accurate information that where to find the train, how to board the train, where to get the bus, and how to uh, reach to the border, and how much is the delay in the time at the border. So these are the in critical information. Our Oh my, it's just amazing what you've been able to organize because I know out of 80,000 students, 20,000 of those students were from India. I know you're a Hindu-based uh, organization, so you've known these families. You 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 knew how to, uh, where they needed to go and how to get in touch with them, which takes me to you, uh, Shralya. You know, tell me why you were in Ukraine. What made you decide to go there to study? And then what was it like just to get that call that, you had to leave everything behind and get out and flee. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, so uh, normally everywhere, uh, every student just like me came to Ukraine uh, to st complete their studies, uh, either it could be in engineering or medicine or uh, anything else. And I have been in Ukraine for my medical studies and uh, I'm r right now in fourth year and uh, it has been very tough for all of us, including my friends, to leave our city, Kharkiv, and, you know, again, come back home. Uh, you know, it was also risky, and uh, it was filled, the journey was filled with panic, anxiety, uncertainty, what could happen next, and, uh, yeah, that's all. Do you want to go back to study, or do you think you're probably going to stay home now? What's your goal? Actually, we, when everything gets settled, we will surely get back to Ukraine and continue our studies. Ah, oh, that's so admirable. And Haram, you know, we also heard that just three days ago you helped evacuate almost 500 African students who were stuck at Sumi University, right on the border with it, Russia, where the heavy shelling was going on. Students didn't have food or water. How did that go? And, and how did you do it? Okay, so Seva International goal is uh, selfless service. And to respond to that part, actually, we discussed quickly with the His Excellency Ambassador of Nigeria to Ukraine, and as well as to other countries, uh, Mr. Shina Aligi, we got a request and then we immediately started working on the part because our helpline was set up, all the information was with us. Uh, the bigger challenge, uh, mainly in Sumi, was, can you hear me? Uh, okay, so bigger challenge in Sumi was getting the transportation arranged. So we started working on the transportation part, and at the last moment, there was a good support from the Sumi city as well as from the Sumi State University and the, His Excellency Ambassador. We started working and arranged the transportation. The next part was after they come out of the Sumi city, then they have to board the trains. The trains were very packed with the traffic and then we have to plan their uh, plan so they get up in the train on the early morning so that the, there was not much crowd and now the all the students are out of the ukraine boundary they are in a safe zone just in a matter of 24 hours that was the plan well, that, that was been made 
Well, it's amazing. It's amazing how you gathered the resources and you were able to get thousands of students out. We will follow your progress. Uh, Haram and Shralia, we lift you up and what Siwa International is doing. A special thank you now for all of you. By the way, we have some students here who want to thank you for what you've done and why you are our humanitarian heroes. Me and my team, we are 10 members right now. Two are coming and we are very grateful for international seva. Now I'm in Romania. I'm very safe uh, with the help of the Seva International. I'm very thankful for the Seva International. Hello, we are the students from uh, Odessa National American University. We reached India safely with uh, the help of Seva Group and uh, Devanderji and also Indian Embassy. We thank you all wholeheartedly. This is our thank you very much to Seva International. There you go. Thank you, Siwa. Thank you both. We will continue to lift you up.